Good afternoon friends. Today we will deal with the topic that is thin layer chromatography. Thin layer chromatography it is a one type of chromatography. Chromatographic methods mostly used for the separation of the compounds into the mixture depending upon their distribution into the two phases. One is a stationary phase and another is a mobile phase which passes through the stationary phase. So when we talk about chromatography, the basic purpose is the separation and we have to consider the two things. One is a stationary phase and another is a mobile phase. When we more specifically talk about TLC, that is thin layer chromatography, we have to consider it is a planar chromatography so the thin layer of adsorbent onto the flat surface or a planar surface okay. so the stationary phase which to be used in case of TLC that is a thin layer of adsorbent stationary phase always remains stable mobile phase which passes over the stationary phase which is a moving one okay so in case of thin layer chromatography a thin layer of adsorbent will work as a stationary phase whereas the liquid passes through the stationary phase okay that is a mobile phase so the thin layer chromatography it will work on through the basis of adsorption the thin layer of adsorbent onto the planar surface so it is a planar chromatography TLC as a planar chromatography the liquid to be the mobile phase so it is a type of liquid chromatography in case of thin layer chromatography we are using a flat surface of adsorbent which is having the particle size in the range of 10 to 12 micrometer whereas HPTLC it is called as a high performance thin layer chromatography which is having the particle size 5 to 6 micrometer so when we just proceed with uh, TLC analysis we have to take an into the consideration different steps we have to first one prepare a TLC plate so a thin layer of adsorbent to be prepared on an inert support so it may be a glass otherwise a plastic after the slurry to be prepared of adsorbent it to be coated onto the uh, inner support thin film to be prepared afterwards activation of TLC plates afterwards the plate having the two lines one is a original line original line and another one is a finishing line it is up to which we allow the solvent okay to move then the uh, spotting of the samples the samples to be dissolved into the specific solvent in which the compound to be soluble afterwards the samples to be spotted afterwards the plate to be kept in a chamber saturated with the mobile phase the mobile phase is allowed okay to move through the stationary phase to the finishing line afterwards the plate to be removed then the detection of spots if the sample is colored well and good if it is not depending upon the functional groups present in the compound specific derivatizing reagents to be used otherwise for organic compounds the iodine to be preferred in case of thin layer chromatography when we just put the plate into the chamber okay, the mobile phase moves through the stationary phase in upward direction that is due to the capillary action so that is a phenomenon which which the liquid moves in upward direction so first question for assessment what the action due to which mobile what the action due to which mobile phase passes through the stationary phase in TLC second question what the particle size of adsorbent which is to be used in TLC so when we just look out what the structure of silica gel it, it is a silicic acid and this is the particular hydrogen functional group which is onto the outer surface 
this hydroxy functional groups okay will have the intermolecular attractive forces with the compounds which to be separated the diol diol interactions okay to be also taken into the considerations so when we think for any tlc analysis what the tlc play the compounds that are least attracted by the stationary phase means the compounds which are moves towards the solvent front okay they will have the compounds are the non-polar one okay the compounds which are having the more affinity for the stationary phase they will spend more time with the stationary phase they will have the lesser rf value in case of tlc analysis the nature of stationary phase is a polar one which is a polar hydroxy functional groups whereas the nature of stationary mobile phase that is a non-polar one so the principle basic principle that is a likes like like so polar the compound will have more affinity for stationary phase non-polar the compound it will have more affinity for the mobile phase so how the evaluation to be calculated in case of thin layer chromatography it is based on the calculation of rf value how the RF value to be calculated, what the distance traveled by the substance divided by the distance traveled by the solvent front. So if we just consider the distance traveled by centimeter by the particular compound 4 centimeter and the distance traveled by solvent front 10 centimeter. So distance traveled by substance divided by distance traveled by solvent front, the value is nearer to 0.4, which is a unit less. Okay. So always the comp uh, compounds travel less as compared to the solvent front solvent front value is always the higher one so the compound always having the rf value which is less than one so that the formula distance traveled by substance divided by distance traveled by solvent front that is the rf value so when we consider the non-polar the substances these are the substances which will move towards the solvent front they will have the higher rf value whereas the polar compounds which are having the more affinity for the stationary phase they will elute they are having the lower rf value again the third assessment question why the rf value of compounds less than one in tlc analysis so we'll just proceed with one example in TLC analysis, one TLC analysis, a compound E travel the distance 7 cm, so that is a compound E, distance travel 7, the compound B travel the distance 4 cm, okay, so that is compound B, 4 cm, okay, calculate their respective RF value, solvent front that is a so if we just calculate the RF value for the compound E distance traveled by substance 7 divided by distance traveled by solvent front value is 0 0.7 for the compound B the distance traveled by the substance 4 divided by 10 that is nearer to 0.4 so compound RF value for compound E that is a 0.7 for compound B 0.4 so the answer B is a correct one so what the polarity of compound E so if you just look out okay, what the compound E which is moved towards the solvent front which is having the more RF value so it to be considered having the more RF value means it is having the more affinity with the mobile phase so that to be considered as a Whereas the compound, that is compound B, which is having the layer, less RF value, it is having more affinity for the stationary force, so that is a polar. So one assessment question for you, in TLC analysis of mixture of butylamine and cyclohexane, which compound will move towards the solvent front? Some sub-questions to this, which compound will have higher RF value? 
which compound will have lower RF value and how will you decide the compound polarity on the basis of TLC analysis. So to proceed with this uh, assessment you have to consider nature of stationary phase, nature of mobile phase and polarity of compound.